Milk all. Milk all. Milk all. What did we get here? There's how quite many, a, many quite a plus I'm trying to remember how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Twelve. There's one that's not in here. It doesn't count then. Eleven. It does. It does. First, I'm going to pick up the Sig Sauer P320, which is their most popular handgun model Correct. right now. Correct. Uh, this one has a compensator on it and a little optic. Yep. That's the Romeo 1. Yes, it is. Can we play prices right with this? Sure. Normal one's about $800 with a compensator, another $500. I'd say like probably $1,800. Yeah, pretty much that one. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's pretty sweet. SIG makes obviously a polymer frame slide. Beautiful. The two-tone is probably why you got this. Nope. Why I like how my other SIGs are set up and I don't want to have to change their setup. That's why I got that. So Matt doesn't want to have to thread on a compensator to another gun, so he bought another one yes, with so a carp on it. That. Yeah. That's smart. Yes. That's good. <laughs> There's no light on this one, so if he ever wants a light on a gun, he's gonna have you to have buy to go another buy 320. A, yeah, I'm gonna buy another 320. For sure. Let's go on to this next one. This I know you've been waiting for for a long time. Crazy gun, Nighthawk Custom. You guys saw Chad get one in another video. Uh, Nighthawk Custom guns are made by one person. Is that correct? Correct. So you've got the same gun builder building this entire gun just for you. Yes, for, sure. for Matt. Yes. It's really high end, really nice. The stipling on this, which it's not stipling, it's actually like hand engraved grips, but it feels like stipling because it needles you into your palm. Really cool, made for Chad's hands. Kind of the luxury 1911 brand. The fit and finish. Yeah, Chad's gun was like $7,500. This took a year and a half as opposed to Chad's gun. I'm assuming right. everything, like I said, these are all custom made, so they're not on some machine. Like, this is a dude, like, <laughs> Chad's was 7,500, I would guess nine grand for this one, the no, longer. No, it was around six. Six, okay, no. which I didn't know until you opened the slide a second ago, so let's show that off. You got a little compensator on the end there, which it's, just, it's, it's so sexy. flush when the barrel's in the slide This is a sexy bitch, that's no doubt. Yeah, you would not know. Yes, uh, pretty cool, uh, six grand, okay. Yep, six grand of, and you get to Finally wait. got your Nighthawk. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up now. Uh, it does have a brace on it, but it's not a gun with bullets, so doesn't matter. What is this? It's a BNT 37 Mike Mike grenade launcher. Does it launch anything besides grenades? Not that I know of. I mean, it Marshmallows? You get probably like, does flares. it need a firing pin or something? What do these cost? Because it's like it's a cool thing, but it it can't cost that much. <laughs> and this BNT, I know your typical reason for buying BNTs is because you didn't own that one. Correct. Is this just one you didn't know? I didn't own that one, so they said one up one. I said sure. Because you already have a can cannon, don't you? The can can's in the other room. Okay. Yeah, yes. he already has can cannon that shoots everything. This one maybe shoots other things, but I think we're gonna shoot some grenades tomorrow. So cool. A couple thousand dollars. Yep. Twenty five thousand. Let's just say twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Not twenty five thousand. All right. Cool. I grab this Gucci. Correct. Right. Talk to us about this. Do you have this made or was it already? <sighs> yeah. Made? My buddies over at Black Rose Firearms over there in Ohio. They had another one that came up for sale, and I knew that the wife would like this one. Or you. I think you're gonna have to. Oh, we fight over it. ICRW made it, made yep. in the USA out of Tempe, Arizona. You got an MFT stock on it, brace, whatever. What are you guessing? Thirty-five hundred dollars, just yeah, because it's right. Gucci. Just Actually, because it's Gucci. I think you're right. It was around that. And it's like skeletonized. Like it's it's a nice handguard, and it's. I mean, it's skeletonized on the magazine. It's a light, you wouldn't want to get very dirty. lightweight. It'll you know. get dirty extremely quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you want to pretend your life on that. That's cool. Uh, how much? 3500 Yeah, it's around 3500 Okay. You can grab that scar and put this down. You got the baby scar. Baby scar pistol which will soon be a SBR. How many scars do you have? Three, four. Okay. This one. Five, five, six. Five, five, six. Five, five, six. Okay. Yep. Out of Columbia, South Carolina. That would be a pain to shoot. I'm not like sure this. what optic. Probably an aim point. Is probably what I put on there. Throw an aim point on yeah, there. Yeah, I'll probably throw an aim point on there. Which one? Like a T2? Maybe. See yeah, how I knew that name. Yeah. Pretty cool. We'll have to say fire. Cool. Well, I have no idea what this costs, but fifteen hundred dollars maybe? No, it was more than that. We'll just say I'll show up three at it, but I could be way wrong. Three thousand, but you could be way wrong, like six thousand? No, it's not that much. That's pretty cool. I guess. Once I SBR it would be even cooler. Main reason you bought it because you didn't have that version of this car. Correct. Okay, let's go here and then we'll go middle. From Walther, you've got the Q5 Match SF. Yeah, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? When they first came out with the Q5, I was pretty stoked on it. Is it Damascus or is it just like some kind of... That's like a... a look at that. that. It's a forge, like a hardened steel. Really pretty. Yeah. Really cool. You got a flared magwell there. The ejections. It's it's got some weight to it. It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh! Slide in a nine millimeter. That's going to be great. Nine millimeter. Yeah. Be no recoil. Zero. The trigger is definitely 
an upgraded trigger, but it's Walther branded. So I guess yep. they have upgraded triggers they can do. Earn your live fire. Cool. Good, this is uh, not super expensive usually. Yeah, so it's probably 2000. 4000. 4000. It's a nicer version of the Q5s that I know. Yes. Uh, now I know you're excited about this. Oh yeah. The Beretta 380, the Cheetah. 80X. It's a, you've got a two tone, you've got a, the barrels cut so that you're getting a really light weight. And that's a lot of ways to grip it. Things. That's there, sure. A lot of ways you've got a spot for a light there. A spot for, yeah, it's got a cut for a uh, armor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Optic cut. Just a luxury 380. I mean, we're gonna debate some some calibers for concealed carry later. I kind of dig that one. I kind of like you shoot it. Come on. Maybe that's Cheetah. Cheetah. Let's go with- Well, before we get in the cab, it's, okay. Pick that up. The MCX from 6R, 762 by 39. I had the scope actually in my parts department, so I threw the scope on. It's a one by six. Everybody needs a parts department for guns. For sure, for sure. sure. So I did sight this into the range. I will be suppressing it. What is it zeroed at? 500 yards? Uh, 30 yards. 30 yards. This is my first one. Do you want it? I said, send it. Pricing it at? 35-ish with the scope on it. Figure come four. Maybe. Cool. Well, for those that don't know, MCX is, is kind of the, I mean, this is the spear this is MCX, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is their go-to yeah, rifle right now. This is the, the exciting item, but uh, it's a rounded magazine, so it's not a it's regular a banana. AR. It's a banana. Thing. Which is smart because we talk about apocalypses. So for the MCX, which is I imagine going to be a military weapon, fighting in other countries that typically use AK-47s. Okay, cabin of the month. Cabin one, two, three. Month. We missed yeah, three months. I gotta right. which one's in order. This one's the first one, I believe. Okay. Cabin of the month. I'm gonna slide the bread over here. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. This is called the American Hare, Matt's favorite Cabot so far. Cabot Gun Company, LLC, hereby certifies that the American Flare is a limited edition offering of 23 units produced as part of our exclusive Gun of the Month collection for 2023. Americans are mavericks and the American Flare 1911 is our homage to those who welcome risk, knowing it is an essential ingredient for extraordinary results. This month's Gun of the Month Club team includes Master Engraver Lee Griffith for the third straight year. Never afraid to shoot for technical breakthrough, we ask Lee to engrave a gun in reverse order. What does that mean? We asked Lee if he could flip the entire process on its head and engrave American Flare after it was finished in black, no less. <laughs> it is a daring approach in which the engraver has zero room for error. Yep. Zero. Traditional engraving is performed on a bare metal, then finished afterward. This process, let's call it inverse engraving, requires long, graceful cuts made by hand without one single slip. Lee must roll the flare cuts, vary them by width at the perfect angles and accomplish it all with unprecedented precision and with intense focus and patience. The result is a visual, powerful pistol with intense contrast that would not otherwise be possible. The attention to detail required to Lee to successfully complete these pistols by hand is uh, Akin, A-K-I-N, Akin, Akin, to walk in a tightrope. <laughs> I think they meant to say alike, like a walking a tightrope. The government size Cabot American Flare is built from premium stainless steel and chambered in 45 ACP. 45 ACP, what, what do we price this gun at? I think this was around eight, seven or 8,000. Really pretty. The engraving is gorgeous. Really pretty. One of those guns you'd be sad to shoot. Oh yeah, well no, I'd still shoot it. I'd be sad to shoot it. <laughs> This, midnight Standard. That's this one. That's this one. All right, the my Midnight favorite. Standard, your favorite. This is my favorite. Really? Favorite of all the cabots you've ever gotten? Well, there's a reason why I like each one of them, but this one by far, with the bluing in it, it's just kind of sick. Cabot Gun Company hereby certifies the Midnight Standard as a limited edition offering of 23 units produced as part of our exclusive Gun Club of the Month. Some might wish for deliverance as midnight in some circles is also known as a witching hour. The dark and hopeless time when cursed crones mutter their spells and evil lurks in the deepest shadows. Light slithers alongside the frame, yet the pistol's black plasma diamond-like carbon coating seemingly absorbs it, only to reflect it into the night from small parts that shimmer with variegated iridescence. Wow. The midnight standard <laughs> grips resemble a misty cauldron. I get it. Light barely penetrates the swirling surface, but that which escapes reveals an intricate pattern of undulating black and white veins, an amalgam of dark and light, of shadow and substance, of nothing yet rich with enchanted color. 
The pistol is chambered in 45 ACP. I like the grips on it. Kind of reminds me of, looks like it's still wet, but it's yeah. not wet. Yeah. When she cooks. Breakfast was delicious. Yeah, breakfast. Thanks, baby, for breakfast. It was great. Okay, hand me that other box. We got one last one, that which one. is, this looks like a pretty standard, I mean, nothing Cabot does a standard, but it looks like a pretty standard 1911. You got brown look, looking wooden grips. Oh, that's pretty. Another 45 ACP. It's pretty lightweight for a standard looking. Is that the Hunt Club is a limited edition offering of 23 units produced as part of the exclusive gun club of the month collection for 2023. Who is your collection of compadres? Who shares your pursuits of the finer perfections of life? Hunting, shooting, riding, cigars, theater. The Hunt Club is that classic full-size custom pistol that you've always desired, that exudes just a touch of envy from your Hunt Club. Finished ridiculously right with satin polished flats and a jet black diamond-like carbon. Treatment that enhances the custom detailing such as the Hunt Club tartan pattern front strap top slide, and main spring house serrations. This unmistakable custom pistol also sports an extended magwell, genuine diamond front sight, and is saddled with hand-selected, highly figured walnut grips. Welcome to your hunt club. So it's your regular standard 1911 with a diamond in the front sight. Typical. Typical. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then we have everything that the guns are on. Yes. Now, you guys seen the other safes in here that I have, right? Rhino metals. Rhino metals. They sent out this toolbox for me because they know I needed something in here basically to store all the new gun parts that I have, optics and everything else. Plus I wanted the display model for the guns. So they were cool enough to send this well, out. What's this toolbox cost? I think it was around 4,300. Right, 4, it, was a, it was under five grand and yeah. it's a it's an iron toolbox yeah. on wheels, really easy to move. It's got uh, plug-ins on the side. So right, you electrical, you can plug in electrical. On side, and then um, your handle to push it around. Yeah. And I think the drawers take up to about a thousand pounds. Of per, weight, of per weight drawer. Per drawer, yeah, is so. what I'm thinking. And so they were cool enough to do that. I really like, I like the worn look about it. Right, that's what I like about all their stuff. You yeah. know, they it's it's iron, you know. So it's, it's badass, it's, it's well made for sure. It's cool. For sure, they're pretty, they're pretty cool. Iron sharpens iron. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, that's that's mail call. Adding all this plus the safe. Oh, there's one thing we piece, forgot. So that's thirty. We forgot one thing. What did you forget? There's something in the other room that I bought, but we can't bring it in because it's a little heavy. Oh, that's true. We what did that cost? That. Twenty thousand. Oh, with shipping and everything, and the freight was about eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand. So that is something we'll show you guys later. It's a Gatling gun. Yep. Matt one. bought a Gatling gun. Yeah, by mistake. Um, by mistake. Yep. I just spent eighteen thousand dollars on accident. And you can't say your wife doesn't count. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going to guess probably around $60,000, but you guys let us know what you added up because yep. we didn't pay attention. Yep, we did as usual. So, break. <laughs>